Hello students, welcome back. So up to this point, we have studied about what is electric current, what are the factors affecting electric current. We also study about the resistance, the factors affecting resistance which are intrinsic to conductor. We also studied about the power sources available with us, that is cell. We also studied about internal resistance, the combinations of cells, both series and parallel. And in similar context, we studied about resistance, series and parallel combination of resistors. Now we will use all of these concepts to shift our attention in solving the complex circuits available with us. With the help of laws given by Kirchhoff and famous circuits, we will be able to solve the complex circuits. So let's start. We will now try to focus our attention in the next part of the current electricity chapter. In the next part, we will be studying about the Kirchhoff's law that is how to deal with the circuits which are complex in nature, that is they are neither series nor parallel in a proper sense. Then we will study about the most famous circuit in current electricity, that is the Wheatstone Bridge and its applications. So let's move on to the Kirchhoff's law. So the first Kirchhoff's law, that is the junction law states, the algebraic sum of electric currents at a junction in any electrical network is always zero. To better understand this, let's have a proper diagram. So I have this junction, junction denoted by O, and I have incoming currents that is I4 and I1. So I1 and I4 are coming into the junction or let's say towards O. I2, I3 and I5, they are going out of O, that is they are going away from the junction O. So according to the first law of pitch off, that is the junction law, the sum of these currents need to be zero with due consideration of their sign, that is they are going in or they are going out. So, according to the sign convention, we have to take into consideration that the incoming currents to be positive, the outgoing currents to be negative. Now, what's the logic behind this law? The logic behind this law is, at the junction there is no storage device for the charge or there is no sink such that there is a loss of charge. Hence, for the conservation of charge, the incoming currents has to be equal to the outgoing currents. So if we do take the signs of incoming and outgoing currents, we will get this expression, that is the junction law. 